G'day guys, my name's Troy from Sherpa 4x4 and what we're going to do today is show you how to wire up one of our Sherpa 4x4 winches. This will apply to quite a few winches out there but we're going to focus mainly on our one today. So all we'll need for this job is a 14mm spanner to do up the nuts at the end. In the pack you'll have your control box, your winch and a negative terminal wire. And then of course we've just got the battery here for demonstration purposes. So we want to start by connecting the control box. This would get mounted on top of the winch, but for this purpose we'll just show you the wires. So we start with the yellow, take that off, a yellow nut, they're colour coded on the top so it makes it nice and easy. We undo that, take off the washer and pop that one on there. Next, we work with the black one. So we bring that under. Again, it's color coded. Take the nut and the washer off and pop the black one on there. Now we've got this little wire. So this is our earthing wire for our control box. This nut here is gonna be our earth for the others. So if we pull that off, we can pop that on. We're not going to put that on straight away. We're going to grab our black earth wire. And that's going to go on there as well. We then connect the earth to the battery. We do this before connecting our final power terminals. We then take our red lead, so that the winch doesn't have power yet, and attach that to the far nut on this side. Again, colour coded like all the others. At this point, you make sure all your nuts are tight. Tighten them up with a spanner, we won't do that to save some time. And then once everything else is ready, we take our final red power lead and connect this to our battery. Once we've got it all powered in, we can test that it works. Using the control box, we take the smart controller Plug that in. So our smart controller shows us a number of things. The two green lights mean that it's functioning well. In this case, our battery is a little bit low. We're getting a red light there. There's another two lights here that would indicate whether the battery is at a medium level or a high ba battery power. We can then just test the winch by simply ensuring that it's engaged first. So making sure it's right the way around and then using the forward or the reverse button. So we've successfully wired up our winch. Okay, so there's a couple of extras that you can get to help make installing your winch a little bit easier. For example, we've got three meter cable. So what this does is it allows you if you're rear mounting your winch or if the cable that's supplied isn't quite long enough to reach your battery. Incredibly handy, 10 mil core would take well over 400 amps which is more than you'll put through your winch most days. Another handy bit of gear is your isolator switch. This can be very useful because it allows you to disconnect the winch from the battery. So this has a number of purposes. One, the control box is fairly universal. This stops anyone coming along with another controller and undoing your winch. Taking the cable, taking the rope, something like that. It also allows you to of course isolate the winch from your battery. So if you have any electrical problems with the car, it's going to avoid damaging your winch. We also have a neoprene winch cover. This basically helps protect the winch from the elements. Of course, it's weatherproof by itself, but these kind of covers just give it that extra protection. 
and when you're looking at a large outlay for your winch, something like this for 50 bucks is just a nice safety net. And finally, we have the wireless receiver and remote. These can come in really handy because it allows you to not have to worry about the hassle of having a wired hand control. It comes with a receiver and a remote. The big advantage to this is that it's not always plugged in and running. So you can take it inside the car, even though it is rated to IP68. The other advantage to it is most other winches with a three pin plug, you can also fit these too. So if your winch doesn't currently have a wireless kit, you can plug this one in and it should work fine. So that's a few bits and pieces that we have from the Sherpa 4x4 winch range. Hopefully you've found the wiring instructions useful and these might come in handy for you as well.